Okay, so today what we're going to do is a demonstration about the colors in fireworks. I wrote the word fireworks and people cheered, but I'm not actually going to make things explode as much as I would like to. Uh, instead, what we're going to look at is why do fireworks have different colors? How do they do that? It's not like you can paint them, okay? You, you can't color them in the way that you color other things. You have to get colors that glow. So to get colors that glow, what you do is you put different metallic salts mixed in with the gunpowder. And the gunpowder gets things up to a very high temperature, causes the explosion and the bright light, okay, uh, which we all enjoy so much. But the metallic salts cause the, those flames to have colors. Okay, so for example, if you add a lithium salt, Sorry. such as lithium chloride, to a flame, you get a beautiful red color. And just for variety's sake, here's, here's a little flame. Okay, you get a pure, more pure color that way with the little flame. But of course, the big flame, everybody loves because it's so much more impressive. This is sodium chloride, which is just table salt, same color, same salt that we use on our tables, and it produces a gorgeous bright, bright yellow, which if you've ever been in a parking lot at night, you may recognize this color because the lamps that they use there in a parking lot are filled with sodium vapor. They're actually sodium atoms, which are excited by the electricity, um, and they, re they release this beautifully yellow color. And here we have another red. This is strontium. Maybe. Try it with a little flame. Okay, I'll try the little one. So there, you can see strontium is a little more orange than the lithium. Now this one, I'm not sure how well this is going to work. Potassium makes a beautiful purple color, sort of a lilac color almost, in the flame. I'm just going to clean this off before I stick it in there. But the yellow that you get just by the virtue of the fact that you're cooling off the flame usually drowns it out. And if there's any sodium, oh, no, oh. it's gorgeous. There we go. We couldn't ask for a better potassium color than that. So this is potassium chloride. This is the same potassium that you get in your bananas, famously. Okay, potassium ions do this. If you had potassium metal, you'd have to ionize it first. So that's gorgeous. Very nice. Man, has the most amazing color I have here, at least according to the response I usually get, is copper. Now, copper is used to produce blue in fireworks because uh, that's the color it gets when you get it as hot as they get in fireworks. Now, this doesn't get quite as hot as that, so we get more of a green color. Whoa. Now, you may notice down near the bottom where it's hottest that there's a little bit of blue there. Kind of have to look for it to notice that. I'll try this one again just to kind of get more pure color. Green flames. Did somebody say Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there you have it.